so you have asthma? I am Brooke, and I'm seven years old. I have asthma, too. Having asthma is really not so bad once you get the hang of it. No, it doesn't feel good when you have trouble breathing or when you have to take medicine. But no matter how bad asthma is, you can learn to do just about anything you set your mind to doing. This is my brother Daniel. He's almost 12. Pretend you have x-ray vision and you can see through Daniel's shirt. See where his lungs are? Your lungs are inside your chest behind those bumpy things called ribs. Can you feel them? <laughs> that tickles! When you look real close at Daniel's lungs, you can see that they are like two balloons stuck together with one tube to blow them both up. The air you breathe in through your mouth and nose travels into each of your lungs through tubes called airways. Let's take an even closer look at Daniel's lungs. See those things that look like brake stems? They are called bronchi, and the tiny stems are called bronchioles. The bronchioles lead to little air sacs that look like clusters of grapes. It is there in those air sacs that the air we breathe goes into our blood and is traded for the used air that we get rid of when we breathe out. There are small muscles wrapped around the airways that stretch and move as we breathe. Now that you know how your lungs work when you don't have asthma, let's see how they work when you do have asthma. This is Michael. He's my oldest brother. He's almost 15. Michael doesn't have asthma either, but he says it's okay to pretend he does for right now. Pretend Michael gets asthma every time he gets near cats. Pretend he went to his friend's house and the friend had a cat. Suddenly, because the cat is sitting quietly and unnoticed in the chair next to him, Michael starts to have problems breathing. He starts to make a funny breathing sound. He still has not noticed the cat. He uses his inhaler to stop the attack and then calls his mom on the phone. Let's see what happened to his lungs. The air that was in the room with the cat went into Michael's air sacs. His lungs didn't like cat air very much and let chemicals out of special cells called mast cells. This made the small muscles around the airways twitch and squeeze. It made the bronchi get inflamed and clogged with mucus. Lots of used air got trapped inside and most of the fresh air couldn't reach the air sacs. As soon as Michael puffed his inhaler, it helped to open the airways again and he could breathe. Some kids get attacks when they eat certain foods, like milk, eggs, or wheat. Some kids get attacks when flowers, trees, or grasses bloom, or when they're around animals. Some kids get attacks only when they ride their bike, jump rope, and run. Some kids get attacks when they have a bad cold, or when the weather changes, or because of dust. When people smoke at home or in public places, some children have asthma attacks too. Some kids have problems breathing because of all those things. That doesn't mean they're weak or weird. That doesn't mean that a kid with asthma can't play ball or swing or play in the snow. Some kids with asthma even grow up to win Olympic gold medals. The secret is to take care of your reasons when they first start. If you wait too long, it takes longer for the bronchi to clear and the muscles to stop squeezing. But above all, remember to stay away from things that make you wheeze and cough, take your medicine when you are supposed to. If it is hard to breathe, tell your mother or father or another adult. If you get worse or if your medicine doesn't help, ask your dad or mom to call the doctor. Oh, and don't forget, visit your doctor regularly. Having asthma is not fun, but if you do these things, you should be able to do things like other kids do. This is Joey, my little brother. Joey doesn't have asthma either. I'm the only one in my family that has asthma. How about in your family?